Good morning everyone, this is Jennifer. Today I have the Academy of Color from Spectrum Noir um, Auto Ship number two, and this is the flora and fauna as you can see. And look, I'm excited for this because we've got, again, alcohol markers, uh, the aqua markers, and look, flowers, butterflies. How do you not love that? Plus I like the colors they're showing up here. So let's just quickly um, dive in and take a look at what we're going to get get this out of the way and open up a pretty I always have repeatedly said I really like how um, the boxes are they have like this magnetic clasp really well done um, I'm sure at some point I will take the markers out of here and you know the contents this little velvety tray and actually use them for something else because I really like them and they look nice here is the uh, in demand our Academy of Color with your QR code and the website address because now it says and I guess it always maybe should have been but exclusive online content but we're not going to get into that whole debacle or debate again so let's just put this up here and let's look at our pretty color so you have one two three four five six double-sided so 12 colors six markers of the alcohol ones and one, two, three, um, so six colors of the aquas. And aren't, I mean, look at how, look at how pretty those are. Just uh, loving it, loving these colors here. And just to tell you which um, colors you're getting here, because these are the same inks. These are not new colors for Crafters Companion, but you have bamboo and forest green, DG2, DG4, gold and yellow okra, GY3, GY5, um, lipstick and flame red, CR10, CR11, so there's a little bit of the darker. Frost Pink and Fuchsia, MG1, MG3. Soft Purple, Regular Purple, uh, PL1, PL3. Duck Egg, which is AB1, Caribbean, AB3. Uh, then we have, for the Aquas, we've got Sunshine, Prussian Blue, Hot Pink, Azure Blue, Sunset, and Topaz. So these should all be colors that you, if you already have all the collections, there you go again, just in a little bit different format, and they do feel real nice, um, you know, to color with. Next, you've got your tab for your flora and fauna. This goes in the notebook um, or binder, I guess you would say, that we all got in the beginning with the kit. And here are our lovely stamps, and I look at this one. So we've got her po like a postcard, little bee and flowers. That is adorable. I'm gonna probably say that about everything. How cute, how adorable, but but they are. Born to bloom, a little crown there. Here we have our vase with flowers. Look at the size of that bee. So I'd be willing to stamp him, color him, and fussy cut him. Our pretty little, I don't know, bluebird, robin. I don't know birds at all. So maybe somebody can tell me. Here's the butterfly we saw in the front that's half flowers. That looks just like, um. You know, the ones they had, Crafter's Companion with the wolf and rabbits and things that were half and half. They're very pretty. More pretty flowers. Best wishes, queen for a day. Okay, and then you again have watercolor card in here, alcohol card. I really, I used a couple of these, but mostly I go right back to using my, um, my own, you know, regular stuff. Let me put this aside and let's throw this put this into our binder. Also, um, if you haven't already done it on the website, you can, I have obviously not filled it out, but they have the um, color charts that you can fill in and do your swatches on. I did this on just Nina, so I could do my alcohol ones right on here. And then just taking on, um, if you take the watercolor card, you know, just take little, where do I have little pieces of it? I'm sure I have some right here. Just take some, you know, make round punches or just do a swatch and then cut it and put it on to your, uh, what do you call it? The, your sheet. <laughs> Thank you to the color chart. Because at least for me, I don't know how to get my regular printer to print onto this and so that it wouldn't, you know, um, become a mess, the outlines and stuff, because that's, you know, the combination. I don't know what kind of printer you have. Maybe if you have a laser printer, it would work better. But for most of us with the inkjet, that's how I um, plan on doing that. Okay, so here is our binder. Pretty nice binder. It's starting to get some items in there. And we start off, we had our first classes. 
with all these pretty stamps. I don't think we did much with that one yet, but boy, those are pretty. Then we have our portraits here. And I, yeah, I don't keep anything in here. They're all kind of in, um, you know, just a folder <laughs> by my book. So, and then we have Flora and Fauna. So we're gonna put this right on here, pop it open. And I really like that they have this set right up for us. And it just goes right in. Uh, let's see which way. I don't know. I don't think there's really a right or a wrong way for this. And put that right in. And we're all set. So there we go with that. So we'll be, I would recommend stamping out of several of all those. I didn't look. I know there is some people have already said. Um, Leanne has posted on the Academy of Color Facebook page. So you can go ahead and check that to um, see what you need, what things needing or if they're going to emboss or whatever. I also wanted to show, I did this last time too, so I thought I'd do it again. If you're using um, the different cards, here's watercolor card for our aqua markers, Nina for your regular, and this is just like the, their multi-purpose or what they used to call stamping card, but you can actually see like the different textures, different shades of white. When I first started out, I couldn't tell the difference by just look and feel. I'd have to look at the package. Now it's just automatic to me. But what I wanted to show you um, was the difference in the nibs because I did show this before. Now your regular, here we go, Illustrator has the brush on one end. Oops. And so does this. this these are made with brush nibs. But if you look at them, you can see there is a slight difference in the, let's see if I hold it up here, I don't know if that'll make it easier, in the length, in the shape, that kind of stuff to them. And this is on Nina. I really should have another piece of something under there. Let me grab it real quick. Um, so you can see just whether you're trying to do exact, very pretty color there. And I mean, they, to me, they feel very similar. This is actually a little bit longer and I know the illustrators supposedly are the much more expensive nibs, but, the, and it does feel like shorter. I, I don't know. There is a slight difference in feeling, but really nice, very smooth, really like them. And this one was just, what is this? Poppy on my illustrator. And this is the fuchsia. What a, that's a <laughs> love. I gotta tell you, I, I love that. That was like one of my favorite colors, nail colors, that hot pink kind of thing, the fuchsia, very nice. And what if you get the aqua pens, same thing. Let me show you. We'll might as well stick to the pinks here. You can see the nib on this, okay, the brush nib, and on your aqua, they are, I mean, you can, I think it's more significant on here, the size difference. That's all. So you can just see them slightly different. And again, if you're just, I don't usually put it directly onto the card. I think I usually do the mat a lot more, but you can see how nice they look. And again, very similar feel to them. Um, this one was the fuchsia, if anyone's interested, but this was fuchsia in the both. So I think that is, oh no, hot pink and fuchsia. Fuchsia with the illustrator, hot pink with there. So aren't they gorgeous? I'm loving these, loving these colors. This just looks like deeper, more saturated maybe. And that's it. I mean, there's really not a lot to show you on this. I hope we get to have another great class. It's Thursday the 7th. Um, it for now. Thanks for watching it, everybody. I appreciate it. I'll see you at the class.